we conducted the study uh, involving four academic centers across us and uh, try to learn the trends and outcome in patients uh, with Hodgkin lymphoma who progress after autologous transplant. Historically, class and Hodgkin lymphoma patients, uh, classical Hodgkin lymphoma disease, high recurrable disease. Uh, however, a small proportion of patients, I would say 10% with limited stage disease and around 20 to 30% with advanced stage disease, uh, experience failure after first line chemotherapy. Uh, in these subset of patients, autologous stem cell transplant has been the standard of care uh, and achieving remission around uh, 30 to 70% of these patients, depending on remission status before the autologous stem cell transplant. However, patients who progressed uh, after autologous stem cell transplant, historically, their outcome has been not good, ranging in uh, one to 1.5 year. Uh, but with this uh, advent of new agents like brentuximab, uh, viditorin, uh, as well as uh, approval of checkpoint inhibitors, the outcome in these subset of patients also improved significantly. And anecdotally, we have seen people with Hodgkin lymphoma living longer after progressing or, uh, or after progressing after autologous stem cell transplant. So we conducted the study and evaluated outcome in two eras before the uh, approval of these newer agents. Uh, and after the approval, uh, we, the study involved around 215 patients who underwent autologous stem cell transplant from 2005 to 2016. And patients were divided into two cohorts, like 205 to 2010, 2005 and 2010, and 2011 to 2016. The 2011 and 2016 was the era where these novel agents were increasingly used in clinical trials and outside clinical trials in patients who progress after low stem cell transplant. Uh, so what we observed in the most recent era, uh, supporting our hypothesis, the outcome of these patients has significantly improved uh, who progressed after autologous stem cell transplant. Uh, and uh, so in the main multivariate analysis, uh, what we found out, the, uh, the, the factors that have independently associated with improved outcome uh, is in recent era, uh, with presumably due to the approval of these agents uh, like brentuximab, viritorin, and uh, checkpoint inhibitors. So uh, in conclusion, our hypothesis suggests that people who, uh, patients who are progressing after auto uh, tends to live longer with this approval of new, new agents. Uh, and then, so uh, early incorporation of these novel agents may be more beneficial because patients can avoid more toxic therapies like high dose conditioning regimen or stem cell transplant and improving outcome with more tolerable and less toxic therapies.